Now, my next guest dropped an amazing five dress sizes in just eight months. Now, this is the good bit. After she was hypnotised into believing she'd had a gastric band fitted, head teacher Kay Lindley joins me now along with Dr Hillary. This is extraordinary. So you went to a hypnotist who basically told you, did he, when you were being hypnotised, do you remember, was he telling you that the, the operation was happening? On one occasion, it was hypnotherapy. Right. Um, along with cognitive behaviour therapy ah, and right. uh, deep relaxation, lots of, of counselling talks. Yeah. And in the first week when I was there, um, I had four sessions, and on the fourth session, that's when they were talking about um, what the operation would be had I right. decided to go down so that route. So they were route. talking to you and saying this would happen, this would happen, this would happen? Yeah, I saw a video of an operation actually taking place, right. um, and also they had a gastric band there to to feel and to to play with right um so you really felt as if it it was it was real yes know? yeah and then talking through how what the operation would be like mm, mm. and background sounds of um instruments <coughs> metallic instruments clanking and so wow. you, you felt when you were in a position of deep relaxation it felt as though um that was what was happening and That's then towards the end um i was presented with my little golf ball which now, what is does that do? <coughs> well had i had the band fitted the it reduces the stomach down apparently right. by putting the band round to that size of stomach available to, oh, to so take that's food like an, a visual tool for so you that's to yeah that's um, amazing so that was mine to bring home so do you know what that handbag. is extraordinary <laughs> because a gastric band operation is a really big deal yes it's, it really is you yeah. don't go into that lightly no. but you've managed to get the effect <laughs> of that yeah. without having to yeah. undergo surgery yeah. well i was i was at a stage where I even contemplated the surgery and yes. I was thinking, you know, as a last resort, am mm. I going to have to do this? Well, that's you there, believe it or yes, not. I mean, you wouldn't is. think that's the same lady when you look at you now. That no, is that amazing. The Absolutely. last week in July last year. And look at you there. How yeah. much have you lost all in all? Seven you stone. Seven stone. Yeah. 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 Absolutely but the, brilliant. the thought of electing for surgery when it isn't medically necessary. I, I'm, I'm with you. I, I wasn't understand. comfortable with that yeah, at all. I um, and then by chance I saw an article about somebody who'd had gastric mind band. Gastric and mind band? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I just googled gastric mind band and uh, found contact with, with a clinic that, that does that mm. um, and it happened to be in, in Spain. Right. Um, so we went for a week at the end of July and from my point of view the, the, the plus side was well even if it doesn't work, I've had a week's holiday in Spain and hey. You know. Exactly, because this was only, but how long did each session take? Um, the very first session was about four hours because right. there's lots of background information and talking mm. through family mm. history and uh, eating patterns right. and why I'd ended up where I'd ended up really. Mm. Um, subsequent sessions were about an hour long. Oh, so you've um, got the rest of the day in Spain, happy days. Exactly, how yes. Fantastic. Yes. I think this is amazing. Was it very expensive? No, um, I think I probably paid something around about seven hundred pounds for the the lot treatment, than which is about a tenth the cost yeah, of the lot operation. Cheaper than an operation. Um, and you know, obviously the travel to get there, but it was it was a holiday the rest <laughs> of the time. So, <laughs> yeah, Hilary, this is. Incredible. It's really interesting, isn't it? It really and, and it's worked. I mean, you yeah. look amazing and yeah. you're fine, healthier, and you feel better yes. and all that. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's based on uh, the necessity to convince somebody that uh, something has changed right. within them, uh, whether it's within their stomach or within their mind, is almost irrelevant. That's how yeah. hypnotherapy mm. works. Yeah. Um, your, it's not like stage hypnosis. It's not the, the sort yeah. of stage hypnosis that makes you do things that you. you yeah, it's like eating an onion when you think it's an apple. And all exactly, because that, that lasts uh, fleeting moments usually the thing about hypnotherapy is it does take a lot of time mm. um, and you have to select your patient quite carefully it's not going to work for everybody you have to be quite intelligent and Kay is obviously <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so you have to be a certain type of person, certain type of person you, to take right. on board the messages that you're hearing when right. you're under that sort of mm. hypnosis mm. you're hearing the voice of the therapist who's um, suggesting to you ideas that will change your eating habits, right. your eating behaviours and make you think about food and your relationship to food differently. Mm. Now that all takes time, it takes several sessions mm. uh, and therefore it's not going to suit everybody. You still have to be committed, mm. a bit like giving up smoking, to, yep. to what you're trying to achieve and you have to be quite bright to benefit from hypnotherapy yeah. and then take it on yourself, constantly reminding yourself mm. through auto-hypnosis if you mm. like, almost those reaffirmations of the message. Mm. So. A, it's not going to work for everybody. 
and and b y you have to be you have to be really committed to it mm. part of the effect is the cognitive behavioral therapy yeah. it's the relearning yeah, yes, of, of exactly, your previous yes, behaviors you. which is part of lots of yeah. um, sort of approaches because to this it. is the thing about this you you yo yo dieted like so many mm. of us i have yeah. done it myself over the years you yes. know put weight on taking it off uh -huh. do you feel that this time with with all of the the help that you've been given and all that you know like the golf ball and all of that <laughs> do you think yeah. the weight will stay off this time i think so yeah, i hope yeah. so um time will tell yeah. um, but I'm I am still losing weight I haven't got to the end of the journey wow. yet um, I haven't set a, a specific goal in terms of how how much mm. weight I want it's more how I feel and, and how right. I think I look that's mm. important well what, what's interesting is that a lot of people would say it's not guaranteed mm -hmm. to, to work in the future but actually losing the seven stones is such a good oh, incentive yes uh, and amazing. a positive yeah. affirmation that it can Absolutely. be done yeah. it probably will stay off yeah. Excellent. I hope it yeah. does. Thank and you. Great to see you. What an amazing experience. Thank you. It's yeah. extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.